right, so let's go ahead and update this baby. So the first thing we're going to do when you get a new Cricut, you'll, it'll be turned off. It'll tell you not to plug it in yet, but to um, hit your open button, your power button. It'll open up the cartridge, and you'll have two pieces of cardboard here that you'll pull out, and then you'll put in your, um, your little blade that comes packaged separately. So here's your blade, your blade housing. Make sure your arrow is pointing forward. It should fit in there snugly. And then close it back up. Again, this is not a video on how to do that, so I'm not going to go into big details about that. Righty tidy, lefty loosey. Just remember that. Okay, so now you've done that. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to actually plug in your Cricut. So I'm plugging mine into the wall. And then I'm going to go behind my machine and plug in the back end into the power place. Okay, that's ready. Okay, now move my. Now I am plugged in. Let me move this up some. And I'm going to hit my power button, which is for the baby bug right here on the right hand side. So I will hit that. And it says it's Cricut version 1.31, V1.31, okay. And it's going to tell me to enter a cartridge, only I don't need to put a cartridge because I have the Gypsy. And that's the reason why I bought this versus the Create, because all the functions that the Create does, I can do with the Gypsy. So no need in spending the extra money on the baby bug when I can do it all with my Gypsy, the multi-cut button and uh, uh, fit to page and all that. So I'm going to go ahead and plug this to the back of my Gypsy, of my Cricut. Okay. And I turn my Gypsy on, and you do have a place here where it says Update Cricut. There it is. It has a little arrow on it. So I'm going to hit the Update Cricut. And my Cricut right now says USB Connected. It says Part 1. Please power off your Cricut. Hold down the Stop button. Power the Cricut while holding the Stop button. Wait 5 seconds to listen to the beep. Okay, so power off my Cricut. So there's my power button. Okay, hold down the stop button. So I'm holding down the stop button. Right down. And power on the cricket while holding the stop button. So hold the stop button down, power it on at the same time, hold them for five seconds, and it will beep. So I'm listening for the beep. Now the lights have turned on on, machine, on my machine. And there's the beep. Okay, so I listened for the beep. Screen went dead, so I'm going to activate it. Click OK. Now it says updating your Cricut part one. And my little Cricut has these little lines going across it, and the lights are on on the left-hand side here. Let's see if I can move this over just a little bit. So it's updating my Cricut. You see how I'm getting a little status bar here. And the reason why I do not need the Create is because I will not be using any of the functions that are here anyway. Um, because I have the Gypsy, I can look on my virtual map on my Gypsy and place items anywhere I want on the 12 by 12 mat. Um, so I don't have to worry about um, actually, you know, using the little buttons to move things around. Multi-cut is a feature that is on my Gypsy. So when you hit the cut button on Gypsy, there's a little place where you can enter multi-cut, I believe up to four, so I can do that there. Um, I can enlarge things, I can flip them already on my Gypsy. I can uh, fit to page manually, but I can fit to page. And I can also um, cut multiples on one thing or make it the length of. So I don't really need those functions that come on the Create on my uh, baby bug because I have all of those on the Gypsy. This takes a little bit longer than I expected, but that's okay. What I love about having the baby bug, and the reason why I bought the baby bug, because I already own the expression, um, but I bought the baby bug so that when I go to crops, um, I don't want to have to update somebody else's um, baby bug or their expression um, when I go. So, um, and, and you have to have a 
an updated expression or baby bug in order to use the gypsy. And what I mean by updated is exactly what we're doing right now is we're updating it so that it recognizes the gypsy and that it will do what the gypsy asks it to do. Um, but I didn't want to carry my big expression. I know you can buy bags for them, but it's pretty heavy. So, but you can buy bags for them, but I didn't want to carry that to crops. Most of the time when I'm at crops, I don't make anything bigger than six inches, and if I do, I can rotate it on the mat. So that's not a big issue. I usually use my uh, expression at home when I make wall decor or something. So um, it just made sense for me to buy it. And it's still updating, if you notice. There it is. It's like halfway through, and I'm probably about seven minutes into updating this. Okay, I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so now my Cricut says now it just still updating. It has a little um, it has uh, the little status bars going across. At the top, it says use your insert a Cricut cartridge, insert a cartridge, or um, trying to keep this in, this in there. Insert a cartridge, use Gypsy or Design Studio. And so you notice it's still kind of updating. It says USB is active. And it says updating your Cricut Part 1 on the Gypsy itself. So I'm reading you what's on the screen here and what's here. My screen just went black, so I'm going to tap it. You have successfully updated your Cricut. Part 2 of the update process is not necessary for your Cricut. So I'm going to click OK. Now you can use your stylus or your finger. I'm going to use my finger. Okay, now I'm going to test it. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to load in a piece of paper. So I'm going to hit new on my should use my thing. And I'm going to use 12 by 6 mat this time since I'm using a 12 by 6 mat. I'm just going to travel out to my carts and I'm just going to pick something. Do a little bell. And see, I'm going to put it about here on here. Make it a little bigger. All right. Okay. And I'm going to uh, put my mat inside here. Kind of hard to do with camera right here. There's my mat. I'm going to hit cut. So I'm going to hit the cut button. And I'm going to hit load mat. Now you see here where I have the multi-cut down here? That's why I don't need the create for that feature. So I'm going to go ahead and load my mat. I'm going to put my gypsy down so that I can hold the mat at the same time. So I'm going to hit load mat on my gypsy. There, load up my mat. And I'm going to do two times cut because I think this paper is pretty thick. And then I'm going to hit cut. And it's going to ask me if everything's set up. And I really don't know because I need to look. Okay, so everything looks set up. Maybe I'll put this on five. I'm doing my side dials right now. Put on max. Click OK. So now it's starting to cut. So I'm just basically testing it. So yes, my update did take. That's wonderful. And it's cutting a little bitty bell exactly where I told it to on the mat because that's where I put my paper on the mat. And when it's done, it is done. Now I'm going to unload my mat, which is my button over here. Sorry, I have bad... Uh, I'm using a little flip, it doesn't record this very well. Unload mat. You hear the mat unloading. You notice it went back to my image. And now, you see, I now have a baby bug that cuts from the gypsy. The steps are the same whether you're getting a brand new baby bug or an expression on updating. And there you go, my first little cut with my baby bug. Okay, um, if you have any questions, please leave a comment on my blog. That is um, C Fluffy Scrap. That's S E E. Well, I'll just put it right down here. C Fluffy Scrap. If you leave me a message, I will try to answer it as soon as possible. Okay, thanks for watching.